is what we'd hoped to accomplish on Isla Nublar. A place where the dinosaurs could finally thrive. Minus the volcano. Obviously. That's a pretty big minus. I think we can all be proud of what we've accomplished here. But? But what? I can hear it in your voice. Okay, okay. I'm just wondering what Dua is really up to. I don't buy all her saving the future by controlling the past talk. Yeah, Lambert mentioned that some of the animals were being moved to an undisclosed location. He wouldn't say, or maybe he didn't know who was taking delivery, but it wasn't the DFW. A third party? You and I are not invited. reports were from Seattle Tacoma Airport's air traffic control, but now we're getting radar hits from Portland International, so they're traveling south. Probably because of the weather. Agreed. They're migrating. But what happens if one of these animals decides to play chicken with a commercial airliner? This is the modern world and the prehistoric one on a collision course. and Lambert do what they say they can, we're going to need facilities in place for the flyers when they arrive. Let's start with some Avery domes and a hatchery. Oh, we also need an expedition center. And as you heard, time is not on our side.
ready on this end. We could send out expeditions for remote capture. These creatures can cover a lot of ground from the air, so we should snap to it. All right, let's fly the not-so-friendly skies. captured flyers ready to deliver. Have them brought to the aviary hatchery by our transport team. We'll then release them into the domes. And by release, you mean contain? Yes. In a controlled environment and under our supervision and care. Excellent. We should be on schedule to deliver assets to the other site. being transported. Transporting asset. Transportation complete. Delivery complete. has been transported. Delivery has been completed. Looks like we might be getting things under control. I would say famous last words, but given the number of times that I could have used this very phrase over the years, I'm going to go with, uh, quote, predictable unquote, last words, instead. Dr. Malcolm, why are you contacting us? Same thing as always, the dinosaurs. And my obsessive need to... miss the car crash when it happens. It's good to hear from you again, Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> ah, Dr. Dua, you're now increasing the uh, so-called intelligence part of the CIA, if I'm to uh, understand correctly. We do what we can. Yes, yes, we do what we can, and sometimes more than we should. Interesting times, and I mean times as the dinosaurs are living in ours. Should they be here? No. 
Are they? Yes. Ergo, they should. And the hidden hand of chaos is revealed. It's what else remains hidden that's concerning me at the moment, Doctor. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. And that's why I've brought somebody with me to help shed some light in this regard, Mr. Isaac Clement. Yeah, a specialist of, uh, of the spectacular. Uh, you should be hearing from him soon. These dinosaurs require feeders if they're to stay healthy. Stay on top of it. I'm Isaac Clement. Dr. Malcolm should have mentioned me earlier. We have some specific requirements, including a ranger team to gather information and monitor the animals within the aviary. A viewing gallery is also on our list. So, now it's on yours. <laughs> hey, Claire. I've been thinking. When you think it makes me nervous. No, no, seriously. Why the flyers? Uh, okay, I'm not following you. Dr. Malcolm starts contacting Dr. Dua from who knows where when these flying reptiles become an issue. Why? Because they introduce a unique danger? And he's concerned? Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Owen. For now, we should make sure the satisfaction levels for the flyers is high. That's verifiable data we can use. Forget the conspiracy angle. Hello? We're chasing prehistoric animals, Claire. Reality ain't what it used to be. <sighs> yeah, you were right, Dr. Malcolm. Uh, it's, it's sort of my thing. The facility is functioning as anticipated. We have enough assets in the pipeline that we should be able to move forward soon. Right now we're putting out brush fires, but this, this is an inferno that could engulf the world. Your concern is noted. For now, I suggest we focus on this location. It's about high welfare and visibility for the animals. And safety for the DFW staff, of course. Learning to coexist with the dinosaurs is a process. We're getting there. <sighs> And if we don't, where's that leave us? We will have created an apocalypse born of our arrogance. Humanity versus the dinosaurs. And honestly, I'm not sure who deserves to win. If we want to find success, we must look to the sky. That means more flyers and more species of flyers in the aviaries. Flap, not fluff, huh? Huh? <laughs> Asset transportation underway. Asset transportation in progress. Asset has been transported. Asset transported.
asset has been delivered. Asset delivery confirmed. Asset has been collected. Asset transportation complete. Asset delivered. Transportation complete. Even contrived, planned, and managed beauty has its charms, but what appeals to the senses is the asymmetry of nature, its rough edges, its mistakes, a tree that is both out of place and exactly where it needs to be, much like the dinosaurs. Excuse me, Dr. Malcolm, there are reports of a large herd of subject animals roaming freely in Yosemite. To my point, chaos, don't you just love it? Yosemite, over 1,000 square miles in size. It is home to one of the oldest plant species on Earth, the giant sequoias, which have been growing in this part of California for over 60 million years. That could be our connection. What's drawing the dinosaurs here? The sequoias are familiar, part of their genetic memory. Then this land could be a perfect fit for the dinosaurs. is already out of the barn. That's a saying, by the way. There's no horse and no barn. <laughs> what Owen me? He 
humans is that things are already in motion. We have dinosaurs that were 